Hello, everybody, and welcome to College Valorant Playoffs. It's going to be a great game today. My name is Matthias, also known as Matthias, and I'm joined by Theo, the Holy Juan. How are you doing today? Doing good, good. Only one game Valorant today on the stream, but it's going to be an exciting one. As you said, we are in the playoffs, so we're going to see the best of the best compete today, and hopefully our Saints can put on a good show. Exactly, and our lineup for today, the match today is going to be St. Clair College Varsity versus Carleton University, the Carleton Ravens, a very, very good and well-respected team. And we also have the rest of the bracket to pull up here, so we'll just go over that so you get a nice rounded view of the whole thing going on today. We have the MBU Spartans taking on the St. Clair Academy team as well today, so it's going to be happening off stream, uh, but look out for that one going forward. We hope those Academy guys get a little bit further, but if they do go a little bit further, they're going to have to either go up against Northwood University, one of the best teams in the world there, and Collegiate versus Indiana Hoosiers, another very, very good team. It's just the stacked teams left on the board right now. Then we have CS, CSP Val Blue, Mizzo Esports, two very good teams, and those will be the opponents of St. Clair Saints or the Colton Ravens, whoever will prevail today. And it is uh, looking like it's a du uh, double elimination still at this part of the tournament as the loser's bracket begins tomorrow. So after today's matches end, each team that does lose will have another chance to go on a miracle run and make their way to the grand final and look to take it home. Our Saints, one of the stronger teams in all of Collegiate Valorant, only seated third though, but we know that when these players play at their best, they're definitely one of the best teams in all of Collegiate, so definitely going to look to turn it up a notch here in the playoffs and really, really put on the pressure. Exactly. They want to give it their all here. This is the playoffs. This is what you're trying to qualify for, and now you've made it here. Now you have to give it your all. And of course, you said it is double elimination, so they do have at least one loss going forward, but you really don't want to give that up because it's going to be a long road coming back especially if you lose it this early but you know I think the Saints have it they are a stacked team their history speaks for itself they qualified for the Red Bull Campus Clutch one of the best teams in all of Canada collegiate esports so you know it's looking pretty good for them Carlton Ravens have <laughs> their work cut out for them but that's not to say that they're too bad either. They're one of the best teams as well. Yeah, Carlton is a strong team. You hear their name pop up in basically every single game. And then Valorant, they are a very, very strong opponent. There were a couple updates since we last cast of Valorant, I believe. Now we're allowed to use the new weapon. And Icebox is also going to be in the rotation, I believe. So a couple of uh, very interesting changes. I wonder if we're going to see that new weapon come out. What do you think? I think we'll see the Outlaw. It's very good on eco rounds. It shreds the light shield meta, you know. People usually buy light shields and a Vandal. It's pretty much the counterplay to that because it's one shot to the head, one shot to the body, especially on light shields. It just tears through those teams. But hey, we have some ma map updates as well. Breeze, Hall A has been reopened. It used to be closed off, but now they've reopened it back up, added a few little changes to make it a little bit more balanced. But overall... We're returning to the good old-fashioned breeze, adding a little bit of flexibility, making it a little bit more difficult to maneuver through. But with that change come some bugs, and I do believe Deadlock has a very broken exploit here on breeze, so you're not going to be allowed to play Deadlock on breeze in this tournament, at least. So we're not going to see any Deadlock today, if we see breeze. Yeah, I mean, it's an update. I, I like to breeze, you know. It uh, gives more, really, play for both sides to flank around. Let's see what Sky had changed to her moving charge on the E. Sharp is the decision point of the commit. Sky has been nerfed all nerfed. around, from all right. what I've heard. That's all it's, you need to know. <laughs> that's, that's the long that's short of it. That's all I need to know. Is, uh, the flashes are more committal. It's just, you know, not as flexible as a character. Not a must-pick as much anymore. Mm -hmm. It's going to allow other initiators to really shine, like uh, like Gecko, And, uh, you know, of course, Sova is always very strong. So we're going to see a different pick for Flashes. I do believe that's going to be a buff to ISO there. So that's going to be a good change for him. A little bit of a different shield reduction there. But, you know, overall, making him a little bit more faster to play as Yep, and Ray's got a little bit of a nerf, just making a little bit more noise when she's flying through the air. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a big change or not, because usually when Ray's is flying through the air with a double satchels, you're going to know, but <laughs> maybe uh, just helping out uh, some players that were struggling with that. 
Uh, Ray's getting a tiny nerf. I don't think it's going to change much. She's still a very, very strong pick on certain maps. Exactly. I'm hoping to see more ISO picks because we don't really see them too often in competitive play, but maybe these little tweaks will make them a little bit more often played. And I'm glad to see the Ray's nerfs because Ray's and Sky nerfs as well because those are pretty much just two must picks in, yeah. uh, in high level play just because of how strong they are. They're yeah. not very, I guess Sky's very flexible, but Ray's isn't very flexible, just getting kills. Yeah. But the area denial on that E, the speed from the Q, and the, the clearing potential of the C is, or the, the boom bot is just insane. Yeah, some good changes, I would say, in this patch. But let's get back to the game. We got exactly. <laughs> we, we have a bit of time, so let's get some predictions for Matthias. What do you think the score will be in today's matchups? Do the map scores as well, since we have a bit of time. Yeah, I think map one will maybe be 13-8, 13-6, something around that range. I think the Saints are going to start off strong, really get the jump on the Carlton Ravens, but I think they might get another round back in the next game, potentially, but I think it'll be a little bit closer. I think it'll be around the, the, the 10 to 13 mark. And then game three, it's all up in the air at that point. I don't know who will win that one, so I think we're going to have a very interesting game today. I agree. And, you know, we can look at this. I think it's going to be a tool for the Saints. Maybe not really a dominant performance, but like something around like 13-8, 13-9, something like that is definitely what our Saints are aiming for. Let's take a look at the starting lineup. We know what it is. It's pretty yep. consistent. <laughs> it's Seth, Instinct, Smiley, Giza, and Caillou. Very, very strong lineup. They've been playing together all season and building their chemistry. So at this time of the season, it's when they're going to perform at their best. I'm not too sure what the starting lineup for Carlton is, but they do have a couple extra players. So maybe they have some map-specific um, people who can just sub in for different maps to play different engines. Yeah. But that's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, maybe it's a dedicated Sentinel, dedicated Smoker. Just depending on the map, they might swap them and swap them out or, you know, just subs are nice to have around in case yeah. someone gets sick. So it's good to see that they have a nice, well-rounded team. And I think this is going to be an amazing game today. But with all that said, we're going to throw it to a quick break. And we'll be right back with game one.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're just about to get into game one. We're just waiting for all the players to load in right now. And we didn't get your prediction for what's going to happen. Oh, I we guess did. you said it was a 2-0. Two two oh, what was yeah. the scoreline looking like? Like 13-8, 13-9, I believe I said. It was gonna, it's, I thought it was going to be a competitive game, but, you know, we have a little bit of news. We have all three maps, Lotus, Ascent, and if needed, Bind and St. Clair are going to be attacking first on every single map. So they're going to look to start off with a bang. And if they can win the first half on attack, like maybe like 9-3 or something, they can really look to close out the map with a huge an uh, impressive scoreline, but let's get into Agent Select. What do we have on both sides here? Yeah, we have Smiley on Omen, we have Giza on Killjoy, we have Caillou on Sova, we have Instinct on the Rays, we have Seth on the Viper. And for the side of the Carlton Ravens, we have Rayano on Breach, we have Niner on Killjoy, we have Tina on Omen, we have Riv on Rays, and Dive is looking to pick Fade, but that could be honestly change within a few seconds it could and one interesting thing is Caillou's now playing that Sova usually on that sky but as we said a bit of a couple of nerfs here and there and maybe they're gonna be looking to play that Sova a little bit more obviously a very strong agent and just able to give so much utility as it's gonna be that fade locked in for dive uh, kind of different team compositions for each side but uh, Pretty similar in the way they're going to be played. Exactly. I think the fade is going to be a little bit tough on defense. I think fade favors attacking a little bit more just because it doesn't really have a lot of setups. I guess you have lineups a little bit easier on defense. But overall, I like both comps, but the fade's an int interesting pick on the side of the Carlton Ravens. But one thing I do want to say is starting attack is going to be a major uh, boon if you can win. It's always a gambit. If you can win on attack, it's amazing. You set the pace. You get those early round wins. And uh, if you can't get the defense lined up when you're on defense, it is just an awful time. Because I feel like having good guns on defense matters a lot more. Having a good economy, having strong weapons, having good setups is the most important thing on defense. And historically, our Saints aren't too hot with the pistols. <laughs> they, they seem yeah. to lose the pistol rounds all the time. Let's see if maybe now is the time for them to really uh, turn it up a notch and start taking these early rounds. Let's see where the push is going to come through. It's looking like a C push coming up from the side of the Saints as Carlton have put a bit of a defensive pressure on that A side. But if Saints can move quickly here, should be able to get into that C side early. They're going to actually choose to play it a little bit slowly and you can see three members are walking up mid there. Maybe going to look to take control of B as well as nobody from Carlton is seeing there. The kills right turret though will give away their position, but let's see how they decide to play this one. Three members going to push through. They have full control of B side, but the spike is on C and they're going to wrap all the way around. They're going to pinch from two sides here. Great push here from the Saints. Riv though on a bit of a flank there. Won't be there in time as Tina is going to go down first. Niner's going to find a trade back. It's going to go down to Septo. Almost found that flick there. The plan should be going down, but Riv is going to find one. Rihanna finds one as well. Now St. Clair in a 2v3 position. Low health bars for a side of Carlton as that shot from Kai won't hit and Riv finds Sep there. 1v3 situation now. Couple of whiff shots there. Won't be able to pick up anything. And now in a 1v3, it's going to be very rough for Caillou. He's getting pushed from two angles. Spike is down. And this one might be very hard to win. Yeah, there is two low on the board right now. Just one shot away. He might be able to take them out right now. One is full health. That's the one he has to worry about. He has to creep around right now. He's being very, very careful. He needs to reclaim Spike. He just manages to do it. Does finds one, does not find the other. And that is going to be round one and going over the Carlton Ravens. And as expected, Saints cannot pick up the pistol round. That's kind of their worst kryptonite. They just can't win those rounds. But let's see how they decide to play the second round there. Good with the sheriffs, even better when they have those weapons in hand. And uh, let's see how the Saints decide to play this one. Rayano there disconnecting, it looks like, on the breach. We might get a pause coming through, maybe not. But hasn't bought anything just yet, and the timer is not yeah, moving. I think we are pause. in a bit of a pause, so maybe a quick disconnect there. Gonna have to get back to that but you can see him moving back around has the weapon bot so we should be getting started in just a few seconds shouldn't be the biggest of delays here what do you think saints can do to maybe pick up the second round and get the thrifty and just get on track it's gonna be tough i think they're gonna have to play as a team just trying to overwhelm them with the sheriff shots trying to take them out before they can really tear through with these auto automatic weapons 
But uh, A uh, looks like C is going to be the pick. They're going to try to play close angles. C short. Try to get move around that dune, get in there, and get out unscathed. So the Viper Wall go up. You're seeing them peppering them down over on A. There's three on A. I don't know if Seth knows what he's walking into here. Seth is lurking in the smoke, waiting for someone to push. Bot goes out, finds two shots, takes it out. There's a concussive oh. blast. It misses. But Kai's going to get a nice pick there. He's going to go down. The wall's about to go down here. It did use the paranoia. And he oh misses the shot. Smiley gets one. Rihanna going to take him right out. Oh oh he gets a nice God. double there. But Kai going to shut that Good. one right down. St. Clair still in the lead with lives. Yeah, they have the three on two advantage. HP wise, probably a little bit behind, but now they do have those weapons for themselves. Should have at least a guardian, a couple of specters. Let's see how Saints decide to play the three v two. Winning the second round after losing the pistol is so, so crucial. Caillou is going to be the one with the guardian. Is going to take this position here, and it's going to be a crucial one v one with this killjoy. Giza is going to be able to spot out one. Finds a couple nice tags there on Tina. One HP now on that omen, almost finding the wall bang as the turret's going to go down. Niner's going to be able to pick up. Smile He's gonna drop onto point, but has no idea that there's one behind him. Caillou's gonna go find his third of the round, and one HP on this omen oh, wow. will be able to pick him up. Caillou with the fourth kill of the round, getting that thrifty for his head of St. Clair College, and this is a great start for them after dropping that pistol round. An amazing start indeed. Just so unfortunate that omen didn't look a little bit to the right. A little bit of a two ships passing in the dark there. Caillou, but he manages to get the kill anyways. And now. Carlton's economy is just devastated after losing that second round in St. Clair, carrying the weapons from the last game, is looking very, very wealthy right now. And we see this from them all the time. They tend to drop that first round, but if they win that second round, it just skyrockets their economy because they're not supposed to win that round. And now they're going to push five man on to see they know they have the advantage no matter where they go. But they're going to play it a bit slowly, trying not to aggress. Obviously, when they have those weapon advantages, they don't want to just blindly run in, want to use the range to your advantage. It's going to be just Tina here, all on their lonesome Sova drone. going to come in, spot out that Omen and Instinct with that nade. It is going to be able to push through Satchel's over as Saints look to take control of the site. Should be getting looking to get the spike down as soon as possible and Smiley will start planting that one as Tina's just gonna run in there gonna find one with the classic should get traded out here by Caillou and Will but now it's a 4v4 situation Stains still looking very very good with their weapon advantages as Instincts in a beautiful position is gonna find one I don't know if he spotted out the second Will Satchel all the way out to make sure he survives as Niner's gonna be able to pick up Caillou but Smiley picks up two and it's gonna be all up to Rayano who's gonna go down to Instinct St. Clair with a very clean third round and take a 2-1 advantage. And now St. Clair is just going to start snowballing here. If Carlton does not win this next round, it's yeah. going to be awful for them. They're investing everything they have into this round. All the vandals, all the shields, everything they can muster. They have nothing left. This is it. This is the round that's really going to set the pace for this game. I think Caillou, if he spots one out with his uh, Sova dart, should instantly use his ultimate. Because if he can get one kill in a round where both teams are full buying, so this early in the game, it'll put them at a huge advantage. And having that solo Sova ult so, so early into the game could be crucial. Seth's going to put up that wall between B and C. And this should help the Saints make their way onto the sites. Instinct is taking up a lot of space. That Boombot will come out. Let's see how he decides to play this one. That Omen's in a very dangerous position. Boombot will not spot him out. Omen's going to TP onto the site there. As Caillou is just overlooking with the drone. Tina is going to be able to pick up Smiley early on. And Niner's going to pick up Instinct. That's the two entries for St. Clair gone is now it's gonna be so so hard to put into the site Giza is gonna get picked up as well and it's all falling apart for the side of the Saints as they have a two on five position here Caillou is gonna have one around the corner here does he have any idea that Riv could be sitting here I'm not too sure if Riv just swings out here we'll be to follow let's see the trigger discipline from Riv here spots out one should be able to pick him up will be able to pick up second no Seth will take him down but now it's a 1v4 for Seth in a very rough position Seth has his work cut out for him here it's a 1v4 situation he does have spike though he has that advantage but not much else he's gonna play it slow play it sneaky Trying to creep back into the spawn. He needs to find a pick and he needs to find one soon. It's only 25 seconds left. Takes a gunfight. Takes the pressure off of himself. He backs up. Put down Orb and put down Spike. He's going for it. They're all going to flood in. They hear the cue. Now, they're going to 
Funds one, oh Funds my. two. He's looking for two more. Five Spike bullets. is down. He needs to try and get out. Five bullets to his name, oh, and that's not enough. So close. And all of St. Clair falls down, kind of fumbles that round, and Carlton University just plays a little bit cleaner. That clutch was almost insane there, but just could not get the shots onto dive there. As Carlton University, when they need to win at the most, they are able to bring this game back to 2-2, but... St. Clair, luckily for them, do have a lot of money to work with. They have another full buy coming for them, and Niner and Riv won't be as fortunate as Riv. Ha uh, Niner has to buy that Guardian. A couple of light shields coming out as well for the side of Carlton. So St. Clair still kind of have the upper hand, three ultimates to two. And I think if they can get onto site and pop that Viper ult down very, very early, this could be a very, very strong round for them. Yeah, Viper all, especially on Lotus, is something you're really tough to play around because there's a lot of angles you can approach from, but they're all a little bit close together near B or even that A B split. It's very, very easy to hold. It gets control, but it's going to take control of the entire map. Seen a lot of smokes come out. Boombot goes in. Not much is going to come of that, though. Going to send the drone in, try and get any information that they can here. Putting the Viper wall. So a very hard commit C. It didn't work last time, but maybe it'll work this time. They're shocked out there. There's a grenade as well, trying to slow down any offense from the Saints. It's kind of working right now. They're going to have to go slow until it finds the first pick. They make it past one. They find a pick. It's 4v4. There's the ult from Raze. Can't really see what's happening. Finds the pick Dino. anyways. Going to send out the grenade. Now, in a 3v4 situation, Carlton is not looking great as Kyrie finds another pick. It's 2v4. They don't Look at the flank down. from Giza. That is a major flank. Look at the trigger <laughs> discipline. There he gets one, and that's two. And that is the rest of the team falling down. Carlton. Very back and forth here between Carlton and Saints. That's a very clean round, though, for the Saints. Only dropping one member. And now look at the economy. Carlton can't afford anything as they kind of had a, some light shield buys that last round. And now Saints are going to look to put themselves a couple rounds ahead. Did you see that ultimate from Instinct was so, so crucial, creating so much space as Tina's just been causing havoc on that C site. But after that ultimate came out, made a lot of space for the Saints. They really just found the good angles and were able to pick off Carlton one by one. It's going to be an A push, it looks like, from the side of the Saints. And it's completely <laughs> undefended. If they can just push through this one quickly, it should be good for them. Let's see, they do have the Sova, so they should have a lot of information. You can see how slowly they're playing. Want to make sure they don't make any mistakes. But Giza is there watching the flank on that killjoy. Should be able to pick a one, but that timing is going to look away just the wrong time. Saints taking their time a little bit too much here. Yeah, they can't believe that it's completely empty right now. If they just rushed it down, they'd have total sight control right now, but it's just almost impossible to believe that Carlton would leave it wide open. I think the Saints are maybe realizing that they're rotating over now. They're gonna just try and go for a full push over to B. There's the door down, and now Carlton's wisened up to that as well. They're gonna have to rush back to B. The double rotate's gonna be devastating for their time. So now they're gonna get the plant down there, so they can And now they're gonna throw a grenade right back. Riv is really going in here with the friends. He's blind. Instant gets one with the grenade. He's looking for another pick, but Giza gets it. And now Carlton in a really bad spot here. They're all falling down to the Saints' fire. Yeah, I mean, the Saints playing this round perfectly. It's going to be all up to Kildrew here, but Giza is going to be uh, having a knife fight here with Niner, and he's going to be able to pick it up for all this round for the Saints. A beautiful attack there. Playing it slow worked out for them there. Now this is another very, very crucial round now. It's going to be full buys coming up from both teams. Four ultimates for the side of Carlton and three ultimates for the side of the Saints. Haven't been needing to use that Viper ult yet. Just every time they've gone on site, they've kind of already had the picks. They had the advantage. So still having that ultimate at this point is going to be very, very good for them. But now Carlton are going to have the firepower to fire back. And it's looking like another A push. Nobody from Carlton on A yet again. Let's see if the Saints can capitalize. Maybe they'll full send it this time to just try and take complete A control. They're going to try the same strat because it worked out great for them. Now they're going to go down B main. Oh. There's the showstopper, finds one. Look at find two, but they're Smiley. both going to go down to Smiley. Smiley finding some huge picks, but Rihanna's in a very, very dangerous position. Will get wall bang, but will be able to pick up Giza. Let's see if Smiley can pick him up here. Yes, third kill of the round for Smiley. Will go down to Tina, but the trade will come out from Instinct. Niner is able to find it. Now it's a 1v1 situation, randomly, but the Viper ult is still available for Seth. If you can get the spike and get it down, will be maybe able to pick this one up. Niner is so far away, but Seth has no 
idea that that's the case. Let's see where the Viper is going to come down. Will it come down at all? Might look for the 1v1 here. Seth has a beautiful flank onto this Killjoy, but won't be able to find her just yet. Just a game of mind games here. As Seth slowly rotates over <laughs> towards the spawn of Carlton University and might make his way over to that seaside. They're both doing the exact same thing right now, just slowly roaming, playing for the kill. But they're kind of both orbiting each other right now, just oh. slowly walking away. But maybe... No, it's like a very oh slow goodness. game of Pac-Man right now. And it's a dangerous position for Seth. If he does decide to plant that down, he will get shot from the side. He won't decide to use that Viper Ultimate and Niner. Playing that one perfectly, getting in the right place at the right time will give Carlton their third round of the half and a crucial one at that. I think if Seth just planted the bomb there, as soon as he got it, it would have been a way more advantageous spot to be in. Could he played off of Viper ult? Even if he didn't want to commit the ult, could have maybe even baited out the Killjoy ult. But now, with both ults not being used, they're still going to have to contend with that Viper ult. Well, it's like, when are you really going to get a better time than that to use your Viper ult? I mean, every single round counts, especially against a team like Carlton. So a great clutch there from a Niner after getting killed by a knife the round before. Definitely got some revenge as Rib is able to pick up one. The trade won't come out from the Saints. But yes, it will. A Smiley and Caillou getting some kills with their utility there. Great pick up for them there. They're going to look to get onto that A site maybe pretty early. Ultimates are still av available for both sides, but St. Clair having a number advantage. Killjoy all the way over on C. Should be able to make their way into the site pretty, pretty early. Can Caillou spot out anyone with that drone? I don't think he was able to find that. Seth will be looking to get the plant down. The peaks is going to come through from Breach as Riano was able to sneak his way onto that site, but Tina does go down to Caillou. Caillou finding its third of the round. It's going to be up to Niner again, and surely this round's going over to the Saints. Niner does have the Killjoy ultimate, but using it here would be a huge investment. In the 3v1 situation, I wouldn't do it. Maybe 3v2. Finds Caillou, but Caillou's been such a force this round. Will he be able to take him out? Four no, he will not. Again. And Caillou with the second 4k. That's the second 4k of the map. And he's on absolute fire on the Sova top, bragging 12 and 4. Definitely a big reason towards why the Saints are looking so, so good. And, you know, considering the situation, Carlton are definitely not going to be too upset. Only down two rounds and having nobody positive on their team. They're definitely happy that they're keeping themselves uh, in the game here on the def on the defense. Considering this map, Lotus, is definitely a bit more attack favored considering there's three bomb sites. Exactly. It's looking a little bit more attack favored right now. We'll see how they do on the defense. They're going oh down my. the round, but when you're up against aim like instinct, it's going to be tough. Dive in a close corner here with the Sheriff. Doesn't find the shots. False instinct. Caillou getting another pick yeah, as well. It. And that's 2v5. It's looking like the round is over unless Carlton can find some crazy shots. I mean, it was a save round for Carlton. You can completely understand them dropping like flies there, especially with such great shots coming out from the Saints. They do have a couple of Sheriffs on the flank, but if you're on the Saints, this round should be as close to a lock as you can get. As they're going to be, should be able to take a 6-3 lead here. Caillou's going to be able to spot it out, and I wouldn't challenge Caillou if I were you. But I say that, Niner, finding a beautiful shot there. Going to look to start off the retake. Gizos, though, is going to be able to pick that up, and is going to push on through here. Omen in the corner. Let's see what he can do. Get done with the classic Giza. We'll be able to pick up Tina. St. Clair taking a 6-3 lead and looking to keep the momentum going. Saints has just swung in their direction right now. Carlton, <laughs> in the past few rounds, as you can see, it was very back and forth. But now, looks like for every round that the Saints, uh, or Carlton has won, the Saints have won two. And even if they keep this pace up, this match is looking to be over very soon. I mean, it's a great attacking half so far for the Saints. If they can win this round in particular, they can definitely make this a 9-3 half. Still having three ultimates on board able to use their ult economy pretty well as it's going to be maybe a C push coming out from the Saints and they're looking to go pretty quickly. He's getting a bit too aggressive up mid there and Rihanna is going to be able to pick up one very very early for the side of Carlton as they're looking to swing things back in their favor and bring this round back. Shooting up the walls trying to find anything any advantage that they can get right now because they remember down it's going to be very tough to push onto any of these sites. Going to three man push over onto C they know there's two waiting for them. There's a paranoia down. Gonna clear it out with a bomb. He oh, walks right him. into it. Gonna try and take a pick. Does not find it. And he gets taken out by instinct. He's gonna blast pack on the site. Try and clear it out. Take the angle slow and careful. Finds one. 
but does not find the pick. Niner gonna have to go in there. There's a showstopper. He's using it very defensively. He was concussed. Does he have the time? Shoot it! Right there! Yeah, he's no. right there. He does not see it. He's in the smoke oh and he my. misses the shot as well. Niner finding a major pick. That was a huge pick, but while all that's going on, on C, Ink saying eight people to buy so much time for the Saints, the plant's gonna be going down all the way on A, and Caillou having that solo ult could play very, very passively here and look to close out the round that way as that Viper ult's gonna be massive. Seth, all his only job here is to stay alive inside of this Viper ult as the Killjoy ult will be coming out. Solo ult will just break that one. A great little counteract there from the Saints. A smiley's gonna pick up Rihanna. 3v3 situation now. Seth just has to stay alive here in this Viper ult for as long as possible. Smiley's gonna find a second, find a third up in heaven. And it's gonna be all up to dive here. Who's gonna go down to Caillou with the shorty <laughs> as St. Clair using that Viper ult perfectly. Able to take a 7-3 lead and should be able to snowball their way into an advantage here. I was gonna see a timeout coming out from Carleton University. The shorties are the real ultimate when you use Viper Hall, yeah. really. <laughs> but yeah, timeout is to be expected, especially when it was so close and now the momentum has kind of just slipped into the Saints' hands. It, it's, it's to be expected, you know. You need to really think about what's going on here. They were really great about punishing the Saints' aggression, but now it seems that's kind of slipping away from them, even when they do find those early picks like Rihanna just did. Yeah, I mean, the Saints... Didn't win the gunfights necessarily there on C, but were able to instantly rotate over to A and use their ultimates to their advantage. You saw them use the Viper ult instantly, and then as soon as the Killjoy ult comes down, Sova just taking that one out so everyone can stay inside of that Viper ult, and then able to find three picks. There was our Omen, I already forgot who's playing Omen, but great, <laughs> great pickups there for the side of the Saints, uh, and they're taking a 7-3 lead. This next round's gonna Who's be- smiling? Smiley, there you go, thank there you. Go. <laughs> it's gonna be a 7-3 lead now for them, and it's gonna be a save round for Carlton coming up here as they don't have very good economy, I believe. Yeah, you could see that time I was to ask, hey guys, do we really wanna force up this round with two rounds left in the half, or let's go for a bit of a save by and next round really all out it. So St. Clair should be able to take this round as if you look on the map again, Carlton has been like four or five stacking this C site, but Saints have realized that and have adjusted and have made their way over to this A site. Let's see how quickly they decide to play this one. Instinct is going to have that satchel peak really, really early, but nobody's here really to challenge them. If Saints just run their way onto A, should be able to have this one, but they decide to leave their spike behind. Giza's going to be able to find Rib on the flank, and that should give away a bit of idea for the Saints here. They should know there's one in the corner there. That is a dead man walking breach. Well, oh, Dive's going to actually find one on to Giza as Caius is here to watch the flank. Well, find one oh, through no. the smoke. Check his PC. Great shot from Caius there. Saints going to get the plant down for free onto that A site. And this round should be as close to wraps as it gets. What a flick of the flash oh, there. And he gets a double. Oh. What is Caillou on today here? Check his PC indeed. <laughs> and Seth cleans up the round. Niner getting one. But it's not going to be enough. Three to eight. What was that? Flick the flash and <laughs> did two kills. That was insane. Caillou is on a heater right now. 17 and 5, putting on a performance for us today. Great flicks coming out there, as you said, and such great recoil management. Able to find the headshots. This is the last round of the half. Ultimate-wise, it's just Killjoy ult against Breach ult. Saints gonna look to maybe go up mid here. Something they haven't really done. Haven't really pushed up mid at all. But nobody is gonna be here from the side of Carlton. Is they're gonna be pushing up both from A and C side. Trying to get a pinch. But Saints instantly gonna drop down that Killjoy ultimate onto that B side. Maybe rotating over towards that A side. Seth does spawn one out. Will destroy that one. They could have just went into B side and planted that one for free. But looks like Saints are gonna do that after a while. Carlton have a bit of time to react to this one though, as the plant's gonna go down, it's gonna be a 5v5 brawl on this site. A big brawl about to happen, a big war zone about to take place here. Tina holds yeah. the corner very carefully, oh. does not find a single bullet there, as Instinct takes him out in record time. Now he's gonna rotate over CT spawn here, trying to hold everything down. Breach There's ult. the breach all gonna clear. Oh, oh, he's oh, he's with the knife kill. Again. Just insult to injury. And now he's gonna rotate further on the site. And oh. look at that gunfight. Two taken down by the Saints. Three taken down by the Saints. And that's all taken down by the Saints in that half. Great round from the Saints again. Playing it slowly. Giza finding a second knife kill of the game. 
that might be a record. I, I mean, I've, I haven't seen <laughs> one before. Two and one half is amazing. As St. Clair, as you said, we're able to win the insane gunfights there on that B side and take a 9-3 lead into the second half. Carlton definitely started off hot. You know, pistol round is coming up against St. Clair. Known to lose these ones, but if they're able to pick up this pistol round here, I think it might be wraps for Carlton. Saints just playing with so much... Uh, momentum here. Caillou definitely leading the charge with 18 kills. And Carlton just can't seem to slow him down. Let's see how the first round goes here. Looks like Carlton are going for a bit of a B push from the look of things. Yeah, Saints are always iffy on the pistol, but if they can win this pistol, I think they'll be in an amazing spot here. Listen out of the concussion from Rihanna. Riv really taking the sight here. Close call. Oh, so one. I'm gonna find one right back. Oh, I shouldn't have picked up the gun, but wow. What is wow. going on? <laughs> <laughs> Just back and forth here. Two double kills back to back from Seth to be and one. the Killjoy here. And Jesus, just watching his back. <laughs> as quickly as I fall, it gets quickly calm again. Saints do have the number advantage. They still have Bob. Oh, no. But the one full head target goes down. Now it's done to Tina and Seth. They're both very, very low. Seth back in the spot where he died last time he was alone. Will he be able to right his wrong here? Tina goes in, and oh, no, my. Tina gets the kill once again. And Carlton clutches it up. I'm not too sure why the Saints split up there. They had the 2v1 advantage and the spike down, and they just decided to split up. But a great round from Carlton. So many gunfights there, trades coming out left and right. As yet again, Carlton are going to be able to pick up the first round. Saints just can't, can't yeah. win those pistol rounds. I don't know what's in them, but... As soon as they get those weapons online is when they really turn up. Let's see how Carlton decides to attack this one. I'm, I'm expecting a bit of a default as last time they maybe played a bit too aggressively and let St. Clair find some easy picks with those sheriffs. Instinct's going to get in a very nice position here, but you can see how slow Carlton are playing, not risking any challenges that they could lose as a, I think this is the right way to play when you have the weapon advantage. Exactly. You got to play it slow. Got to play methodical. Just let them walk into your bullets like Tina just did there. Seth is really hungry for that revolver, takes a bullet for it. And now Rayano waiting for the smoke to go down before he makes his push. There he is, he's creeping up the rest of his team. Trying to be very slow and methodical about it. Smiley's gonna peek and Smiley goes down in record time to Riv. Now, Instinct trying to get some wall bangs, trying to get them to push. He wants to get any picks that he can. And Going for that orb again, it was an awful, awful play from Seth. But there we go, Instinct finding one. Spike is down, they know where it is. And that's going to be another good pick from Riv. Saints just kind of falling apart, but it's to be expected when you're on pistol round, or when you're on Thrifty. I mean, they're playing very, very aggressive the Saints. You can see all of Carlton are still in their spawn, and somehow 4v1. Kaya's going to be able to find a second, and he's very capable of pulling this one off. We've seen it time and time again, finds a third there! He's going to be able to find... The fourth member of Carlton take him down. Still two huge kills for the side of Sinclair. Rivs on nine HP here. One shot. He will go down. Let's see how Caillou is going to play this one. Definitely capable of clutching this one up. They have no idea that he's coming from here. Could find them both. He just swings around at this time, but won't be able to do it just in time. They see the side of Carlton are playing together, looking to get that one-for-one -one trade. Riv, though, on one HP, has to be careful. The peak will come through from Caillou, but it's a great shot from Riv. Third kill of the round for him as Carlton are going to take that round. But Caillou definitely finding some huge pickups there and doing some damage control as Carlton shouldn't be able to fall by here. And Saints are going to be able to buy every single weapon they want. Saints in a really good spot. One thing I do want to point out is we haven't seen a yeah. single outlaw <laughs> being bought. <laughs> Even though it's been kind of back and forth here, the economy would you know, maybe advise, but maybe it's just Lotus. There's not a lot of long sight lines yeah. on this map. So rifles really do have the advantage here. But we see the Saints going for all the rifles. They're really investing a lot into this round. If there's a round to win, it is this one. They need to win it or else they'll be in a really, really tough spot. Full stacking against the C push. They're in a very good spot right now. They bait out the doors. There's the blind. Uh -oh. Do they find a pick? Yes, they do. It's going to be one pick from Smiley. Great pick up there. Just using their utility perfectly are the Saints. Smiley thinks there's one in this corner, but there is nobody there. They would have had to move from that Viper. As Riv could maybe find a pick up there, but it's a great smoke from Smiley, making sure that he won't be spotted. We'll just run away in Saints. 
are very happily going to have a one-man advantage as Carlton are looking to push into this A site. But they definitely hear the Saints rotating over and choose that that is not where they want to go. Kind of a bit indecisive here from Carlton as they only have 50 seconds to really make their mind up. Exactly, maybe that's the Saints' strat right now. Just keep making them rotate, keep matching their pace because if they don't plant in time, the round's going to go over to the Saints, try and get them frazzled, try and make them to do these desperate plays. Looks like they're going to go all the way back over to C and try and take the fights there. It's a great little play from them. It is a 4v1. Smiley, if he can just find one pickup here, would be massive. Let's see how the same side defense. But there's going to be the raise load. Smiley is going to be able to find a couple of shots as Riv shoots into the wall and kills himself. Niner is going to pick up Seth, however. And the plant will be going down for Carlton, so it's not all terrible just yet. 4v3 retake situation. For the side of the Saints, as Dive's gonna take some shots there through the wall, just taking a little bit of damage. Saints still have a lot of time to work with. This is gonna be a great nade here from Inkstein. Will force Dive to move from his position as Niner's gonna find the trade there. Giza picks up Tina, Caillou picks up Niner. It's gonna be all up to Dive, who's gonna go down to Caillou as well. And that's gonna be a 10th round for St. Clair College. A nice little retake. Maybe a little bit of misplay there from Ray is killing herself with that ultimate, but St. Clair will be very, very glad with how that turned out taking a 10-5 lead three rounds away from taking the first map. This next round is where all the momentum will swing. The Saints have to go up against Rifles just one more time to really crush the defense. I don't have offense. the money. They don't have money to go all Rifles this time. It's interesting. They're gonna opt for just the full shield buy and sticking with the classic, maybe? Oh no. Judge. They're gonna buy a rifle and there's a Judge as well. Play the cold, close angles. Doesn't have ult just yet. Maybe if he got that orb he died for. But let's see if this round will go the way of the Saints or if Carlton will be able to get the momentum back here. Trying to, take, trying to take out the turret. Doesn't quite work. He takes a little bit of damage here. Niner, being push here. Location revealed and Caillou gets the first pick of the round. I mean, Caillou's playing Sova like he's playing Reyna. Finding picks left and right. Will get taken down. Assef with the Judge won't be able to find anything there. Two quick pickups for Carlton. The Saints are just playing a little bit, maybe too aggressively there. Kind of want to see Seth sit around the corner with that Judge and just wait for someone to cross. But a great play from Carlton to capitalize off the mistake there. Smiley's going to have to go absolutely massive here on this Omen. It's going to be all up to him to basically slow down this Carlton. If he can find a couple picks here, this would be massive. Let's see how he decides to play it. Will he be able to find one? No, won't even find one as Riv finds the 1v1 there. 4v2 situation for Carlton as Riv flies onto the side and picks up Inkstein. Great shot from him there as that should secure the round for the side of Carlton as they look to swing the momentum back in their favor. Giza maybe going to look for a clutch here, but I wouldn't hate even saving this Vandal. Saving the Vandal would be a good play, but I think Giza's just that confident that he might be able to find a few picks here, making an expensive round for Carlton nice. finds one. Oh, almost finds well two. Shot. Yeah, it's a little bit risky. And, oh, Riv Four. with the massive flank. I didn't even see that one coming, let alone Giza. That's going to be a nice round for Carlton. Yeah, and it's going to be another weird round for the Saints where a couple members can't really buy weapons. I think Caillou should maybe pick up a Vandal because he has been on absolute fire this game, but everyone else is going to go with the Sheriff option. Caillou definitely capable of hard carrying around from what we've seen so far, finding pick after pick, but it's going to be a hard round here for the Saints as Carlton definitely have a big advantage going to this one and they're swinging the momentum back in their favor. This game is far from over in this current state. Instinct is going to have to go cru crucially huge here with this Sheriff alongside Smiley. Let's see if they can find anything so close to landing that one there for Instinct. A headshot there would have swung the round in their favor. And Smiley's going to maybe look for a swing as well here. But Carlton, they're just sitting in their spawn. I think if Saints just don't really take these ad aggressive peaks and just play back a little bit, this should be a very, very good way to them, for them to play the game. I think that was the Saints' main main. <laughs> the Saints' main downfall here was they were just far too aggressive and pushed up way too many times. And now, now that they're forced to sit back and relax, Carlton doesn't really know what to do here. And try and push it out. That's a nice concuss, but he TP's out of it. Oh, good nade. Ooh, but a greater shot from Riv there. Finds the kill on Smiley. And that's going to be the start for Carlton to start snowballing into this C site. But 
They still haven't really made their mind up as they look like they're gonna rotate all the way over towards that A side. All the kills for utility is on this A side. Let's see how Saints decide to play the defense. As we said, we, they don't really have the weapons. It's gonna be all up to Caillou with that Vandal to really find those picks. And you can see he's in that hallway. Let's see how Caillou plays this one. Gonna play very, very close here. All five members from Carlton stacked on top of each other. Gonna just rush in through tree here. Flash has come out, that Viper gonna do a lot of damage. Giza has to be careful. Caillou will be able to pick up one early with that Vandal as the plant will be going down here but Dive and Niner are watching the angles perfectly as this plant goes down. Inkstein and Seth gonna find a couple of pickups. If Inkstein can find one more here with the Sheriff will be massive. One HP on Seth here as the flank comes out from Mariano but there's gonna be a pick coming out from Niner onto Inkstein and that should secure the round. Seth doesn't have a weapon, only has that classic I believe. We'll go down to Mariano. Sinclair make that one expensive but Carlton able to pick that one up. Make it a 7-10 game as they're coming back on this first map. After a win streak that wasn't that expensive round, it's going to take a hit, but it's not going to be a massive hit as they're still going to be good for next. Yep. The Saints, they're just still having a rough time finding some footing here on the defensive side. They have some ults right now. There's a round to win. This is going to be it. Okay, you're going to have to opt for the Guardian, though. Play a little bit more far back, a little bit more defensively. I think Carlton's just in an amazing spot right now. Smiley sends out a smoke. This is going to cuss right away. He's going to play around the dunes, try and play these one ways. Not going to find all too much, though, Instinct. He'll be holding mid. Carlton just once again playing it very slow, seeing where the Saints are, trying to bait out any early pushes. Carlton have played basically the entire, uh, the, the exact same way for this entire second half. They're just sitting in their spawn, waiting for St. Clair to make a mistake and I think Saints lost like three three rounds in a row now so and they're like guys let's focus up let's let's stop making these mistakes we we were playing with our food a little bit let's focus up and you can see they're not peaking these early early challenges anymore they're just sitting here waiting for Carlton to make the first move because they have to they're playing on the attack but Inkstein's gonna go for a peek they're up mid won't find much it's gonna be a Looking like a bit of a C push coming out here from Carlton, but look how much time Smiley's buying. He's gonna be able to stay alive here as well, as Riv's gonna throw out that nade, but Smiley is just single-handedly stopping this push. The fatal ult comes out as well, doesn't hit too much. Sova ult's gonna come out. We'll be able to find the tag onto one and pick up Rihanna. It's a great pickup. Wow. With a great shot to the second. Beautiful shot there onto the third. Three picks, four picks for Kai. You're gonna look for that ace. We'll be able to pick it up onto nine or eight bullets. We'll oh. be able to pick it up, but 15 seconds left. Niner's gonna find a couple picks on his own. Only five bullets left in the mag, and Instinct will take him down. But Caillou single handedly picking that one up for Sinclair with yet another 4k. It's just Caillou's shooting gallery at this point. That alt into the three, <laughs> four kills. Insane. That's why he's on this team and having a timeout. Of course, you will after yeah. that. You just, even for the mental, if you're not doing any strats. You need to take a step back at that point and think about what just happened and how to make sure that never happens again. Yeah, I mean, and it's also maybe used to slow down the momentum of Sinclair, who are definitely excited after that play from Kai. He's really been putting the team on his shoulder in this in this first map, and I think he's almost he's at 29 or 30 kills. Something crazy like that. He's having a performance for the books here, but the job is far from done from the Saints here. It's 11-7, but we've seen... Their opponents go on these three, four round streaks on this attack. So this game is far from over. I think this time out is definitely going to be important for Carlton if they can really draw up something special here. An interesting play, maybe a quick five man rush, which we haven't really seen from them just yet. And maybe catch the Saints off guard could be an interesting strategy coming out from them. Yeah, it could go either way at this point. So it's a very dicey game for the Saints. They finally got the round they needed to win. 28. Just like Two more away, yeah, 28 kills. He's definitely gonna hit 30 within this before this game is over, so I'm excited to see how that will happen. Will he hit 40 is the real question. 40. 40 Ooh. if Carlton does an amazing job, yeah. and if Caillou is on point. All right, looks like we're gonna be right back in the swing of things. Going for another slow play from Carlton, but the Saints, I think, have learned, hopefully, there's the showstopper. The alarm box is going to be popped. He finds oh, two! Two at the beginning of the round, but two get found right back for the Saints. Oh, and it's bang. very back and forth, and now it's a 2v2. Two two two. 
I mean, <laughs> a crazy start to the round for Minx. They maybe find a couple, but Saint really turning up the aggression here even more as Giza's gonna be able to find one. Smiley picks up the other in the spawn, and that could be all she wrote. 12 to 7 for Sam of Sinclair. I believe Carlton did fall by there, so they won't be able to afford any good weaponry here. Facing match point, three ultimates apiece, so maybe they could start off with that Razo, just how Instinct didn't get off to a hot start. But if you're looking at this uh, from a neutral standpoint, Sinclair definitely have the upper hand here on match point. Yeah, they are looking very good right now. I don't even know if Caillou will hit the 30 mark. Yeah, he's gonna have to find there. a double kill in this round. I know he'll find one, but will he find two? That's the real question. And Carlton has a lot of work to do here. Oh! Huge pick on Riv, and Riv's not gonna be happy with that showstop. We're gonna Divinity do one Dinks right behind. back. Finds, doesn't even find one with it, and that's gonna be two from St. Clair. It's a two for two trade though, Dive looking for another crazy shot here. As Tina's gonna be able to find out to Smiley, and just like that, Saints are in a 2v3, 2v2 now, as I say that Giza is gonna be able to pick up Dive, but I believe the side of Carlton were able to get at least one weapon as their Killjoy somehow made her way onto the B side. Niner is the only one with a Vandal, I believe, who was able to afford one for Carlton. It's gonna be an, an insane flank position here. I don't think the Saints have any idea that the Killjoy could be there. The plant will go down on that A side, and we have to see what Niner can get done here. This flank is massive for Mimim. If he just decides to go around the corner, we'll find a huge flank onto St. Clair. But if St. Clair decide to play this one quickly and get onto that site, they'll have a 2v1 for a little bit of time. Niner is a bit too slow on this flank and will slowly just make his way over to his teammate. But now it's going to be a 2v2. Seth going to pop that... Oh no, it's going to be an attacker, Killjoy. I apologize. Let's see how the Saints decides to play this one. The plant is... The defuse is coming through and Giza's going to be able to find one. Will go down, but will the defuse be able to come through? Seth is able to get it and that's going to be the first <laughs> map going up over to St. Clair as they're able to sneak in the Ninja defuse. And that's a heartbreaker for Carlton. Doing so much to come back, but it's just not enough. St. Clair, take map one, 13 to 7. Yeah, and I believe that was right around my guessing scoreline. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> amazing around, very back and forth. But the Saints really had an amazing ta attacking half, really set the pace for how the rest of the game was going to go. That's not the count out the Carlton Ravens, though. As you can see, Niner is right up there with Caillou. They both played amazing games, but Caillou just played a little bit better there. Two 4Ks over the span of one game Th is three. insane. Three? You almost uh, had the ace there at the end. You're right. I think I lost <laughs> count of just how many times it happened. I was just... It's just regular Valorant gameplay at this point. <laughs> for Caillou, <laughs> yeah. For he's, Caillou. he's just a monster. Usually we see him on that sky, but really showing out on that Sova 28 bomb. A great momentum boost here for the Saints as they look to make their way through this winner's bracket and pick up a swift 2-0. Yeah, it's looking like a swift 2-0 right now, but with how Carlton played on the attacking half, I don't know how it's going to go. The fact that the Saints are starting on attack on every single map, I think this it's is going to go the Saints away. Because yeah. if it's not the next map, it's going to be the next one that they're really going to get the solid attacking start once again. But overall, it's looking a little bit dicey. I think their egos are a little bit too inflated for good reason, <laughs> right? But there were points where they were making pushes that didn't work and it really got Carlton's Ravens uh, points up a little bit higher than it should have been, I think. Yeah, I mean, the Saints were just had a game plan of being very aggressive and just pushing into the spawn of Carlton. Carlton really picked up on that. They were able to play slowly and pick up some huge kills, but as Saints decided to slow down for a couple of rounds, Carlton was like, alright guys, we gotta take the advantage here now. They were able to win a couple of rounds and then towards the end there we saw Saints just full on bomb rushing the spawn with Instinct's ult in there and just Carlton were probably all over the place. They said, guys, I don't know what to do. Do we rush site? Do we sit and spawn? And the Saints were able to outplay them, outmaneuver them, getting the ninja defused there. Definitely going to be a good momentum swing. Yeah, even if it's not, you know, going into the next game, that's going to have a little bit of mental damage going yeah, exactly. forward. You're going to feel like, I don't want to ever let that happen again. So maybe we're going to see some fakes coming up from the Saints next game because they're always going to have to try and check that after that. You don't want to leave that ignored. Like they say, pros don't fake. Exactly. And, uh, uh, do you have the maps for next game? Uh, I already forgot uh, it's, the okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. But uh, I wonder if we're going to see Breeze. Because uh, Breeze did have some changes. So if Breeze is next or even after that, it could have some inst interesting implications. We next have map is Ascent. Be Ascent. Yeah. And then Bind after that if needed. Yeah, so Ascent, a very no-nonsense map, you know. There's some uh, 
cheese with the walls and an Odin on A. Yeah. But overall, there's no gimmicks like <laughs> three points or, or turning walls like Lotus has. So it's going to just be kind of straight Valorant and just straight up who has the better aim. And we might see the new weapon come out here, some longer yeah. sight lines. You know, on the last map, Lotus, just not too many long sight lines. But on this uh, next map, on Ascent, definitely some longer sight lines and could be something that could really change how the series goes. Yeah, the series is looking to be very, very interesting. And I think, you know, maybe with the sky changes, we'll see a different comp. But I think people usually pick KO for flashes on Ascent. So I don't think we're going to see too much going on there. But, you know, let's let's get a guess for the scoreline. What do you think the next scoreline is going to be? Well, we just had a 13-7. And with how things went, I think Saints might get a little bit over aggressive and overconfident in the second map. So m I think they're still going to take it uh, maybe somewhere around the lines of 13-9, 13-10, but I would love to see maybe like a dominant 13-1, 13-2. So, you know, let's see. I wonder I wonder how they're going to do. I think they're going to take it. What, what about you? I think it'll be around a similar case, but I could also see where if the attacking round just does not go their way, like the Saints did kind of get a little bit, I don't want to say lucky because it's a skill-based game. Uh, you know, they did win that second round after losing Pistol. So it, it's, a, it's a little bit of a toss-up, but they we lost do. every pistol. <laughs> yeah, they did. They lost every pistol. So at least <laughs> the Ravens will have at least two rounds going into this. But yeah. I think we're going to see that first pistol coming up very soon. Here we are entering game two on Ascent. And like I said, there's the Kaios, Rayano, and Smiley respectively going Kaio, Kaio, <laughs> Kaio, Kaio, <laughs> Kaio, mix of the bop. But, uh, he's on jet now, he's on jet. <laughs> <laughs> He went from playing the silver role and said, guys, I'm on absolute fire today. Instinct hop off the duelist i'm gonna be entering and uh i mean what, what do you think of that honestly i think mean, that's good you don't, you he don't needs, see that often he needs the extra util you know maybe it could go wrong if he gets a little <laughs> bit too aggressive you know dashing right into <laughs> the enemy might see right? that. but uh if he plays it well which i think he, he will, will it's kaio uh it's gonna go amazing for them using knives Kaio with knives is going to be a thing to see going forward. They are starting attack, so I like the aggressive play going on the jet. Putting Kaio on jet is going to be great. But instinct on Sova, I think he has it. He's probably learned from Kaio all the lineups, all the things you need to know. And Seth on Omen, that's a good pick as well on Ascent. So it's pretty much been figured out at this point. This is the best comp yeah. for Ascent. And uh, I'm wondering if we're going to see the outlaw. That's the main thing I'm curious about. I mean, I'm more than certain we will. I mean... Especially on Caillou and Riv on the Jets, you know, they love picking up the operators, the Jet players, but in the early, early rounds, an Outlaw could really be a game changer. And as you said, Saints have attack on every single map. If they're not able to take this one, they will be going to bind, but they're going to look to get off to yet another hot start. First, first map, they were able to take the first half 9-3, and uh, we're just able to get a dominant start here. Let's take the predictions on the first pistol round. You know, they've lost two, <laughs> so the odds for them winning it aren't good. But do you think maybe we see a miracle come to life and the Saints pick up a pistol round here? Uh, it could happen. They are on attack, and I think just running it down with a pistol, you have a better chance on attack than defense. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And I think they're going to play very aggressive here as they are leaving Spike in spawn. They're just going to be playing team deathmatch at this point. Caillou does pick up the Sheriff, so after that first map, Caillou is definitely, definitely feeling himself, and for a good reason, dropping 28 kills in, what was it, 20 rounds? Yes. Like, that is insanity. <laughs> Completely amazing performance. Definitely going to look to take over the second map, and hey, if things working on the day, if Caillou is fragging out, put him on the jet, let him frag out, let him lead you to victory. <laughs> it's not every day that your exactly. Sova drops 28 kills on Ascend. But let's look how the Saints decide to approach this one. Looks like a mid to A push here. Coming out from St. Clair. But Carlton are all loaded up on this A site. Three members here. Smiley going to get some crucial maybe info here. The flash will come out. Kai was going to get his back though. First pick. Jet on Jet. The action there is Kai's gonna look for a swing, gonna wow. find the second. Won't be able to find the third as Tina is able to find the right click, but will be traded out in the Saints. Should be making the way onto this A side. The plant will be going down from Inks as they're in a 4v2 situation. And we might finally see them win a pistol round. Sep's gonna have the 1v1 here. Will be able to pick up Divers. 4v1 situation. The smokes will come out. The Utah will come out. Niner, definitely the strongest player on Carlton from what it looks like. Will be able to pick up one, but Inkstain will trade that out. And finally, the Saints are able to pick up a pistol round. 
I don't even think they're sure where they're going to go from here. As <laughs> they're probably not too used to this situation. Yeah, this is an amazing momentum for them right now. Yeah, putting Caillou on Jet was just a, an amazing pick right there, as you can see. Getting two kills at the beginning of the round really opened it up for the rest of the team to just go in there and do their thing. As Seth also got two kills. Kills. Not to count him out, he played amazingly as well, but a little bit more slow and methodical, a little less explosive. And now, Carlton is going to have a tough time here. They're going to buy a couple sheriffs. Let's see what they can do. It's going to be another, looks like mid push coming up from Saints. Riv has to be careful peeking this. As soon as he swings, his head is getting taken off his shoulders. The exact same push, it looks like Bakayo is going to be making his way up A here very, very early. Going close range with that Guardian. I don't know if that's exactly what they want to do, but Kaio knows better than me. This, they do get spotted out by Rihanna there for sure as the shots come out from Kaio. Finds one. Smiley's going to find the second. Instinct picks up the third. Great team play as Kaio picks up his second of the round. And it's going to be a 5v1 scenario. It's going to be all up to Niner yet again. The push will come through here from the Saints. Niner is in a world of trouble. Will look to go up and has not been spotted out just yet. I don't think the Saints know that Niner's here, but... As soon as Seth turns this corner, we'll find out. Pick up a flawless fourth side of St. Clair College as they take a very nice 2-0 lead and are going to look to keep the ball rolling. Quick question, how much is the outlaw? I believe it's a little bit more than uh, than uh, Marshall. So it's cheaper than a rifle. It's more around the Guardian range, I believe, uh, price-wise. But overall, it's... Not, not the cheapest. So if you're if you're confident in sniping, you're gonna pick it up. But if you prefer the mid range, you're definitely gonna go guardian. Well, Saints luckily were able to keep all their members from last round. They bought three vandals last round, so they're gonna be pretty pretty strong here. And mid has been wide open for the side of Saint Clair, and they're definitely taking advantage of that. Smiley's gonna look for a peek there. There is one in that smoke up mid, and he's going to be spotted out from that KO knife. Smiley going to walk up here, but he's not in that corner anymore. Switched over to the other corner. Saints just going to be in the spawn of Carlton for free, as basically Caillou can walk all the way up. Inkstein will get his drone shot out, as the shots are coming out from both sides. Smiley only has a Spectre here, so we'll be looking to fight at close range, but we'll jump out mid, and it looks like St. Clair are pushing on to that B side, maybe, as Caillou finds one in the spawn. Dive picks up Giza, though, on... The main, let's see how the push comes out from St. Clair. Caillou playing this one very, very aggressively. Niner will get smoked out. Will the peak come out from Inkston? Yes, it will. The plan should go down any second now as St. Clair have a 4-3 advantage and they're really looking to keep the snowball going. Yeah, snowball is just the name of the game here as they have the momentum and they are not letting it go. They're just going gas, gas, gas all the way right now. Inkstein. Going full speed ahead. Now they're slowing it down. Is oh, it going nice to fall shot. to Seth? They are just ruthlessly, ruthlessly efficient Sorry. right now. Just taking them all down every single time. Just barreling through Carlton. And it's like they have no defense at all. And now they did buy some rifles that round. So they're going to be back on a save round. It's hard to believe they even bought rifles on that round with how many of the Saints made it through. Yeah, I mean, Saints, just a dominating performance to start here, map two. And you can see they definitely turn it up a notch. Putting Caillou on that duelist really makes a lot of space because he's he's shooting like 100% right now. Anyone who's on the screen is getting their head taken off their shoulders. And when your duelist has aim like that on the day, you just have to follow up. And they are doing exactly that. Tina will look for something early as Smiley throws out the knife there. Let's see if Caillou's able to find the entry picks. Spamming through that smoke. We'll jump in with the <laughs> Sheriff as Giza takes out Tina. There's so much utility used from the Saints, but they are going to get onto the side dive. We'll pick up Smiley. Kyle has to be careful here. A couple picks come out here from the side of Carlton, but Kyle's going to be able to find the trade. We should be able to pick up the third there. Yes, he will. Another one sitting there. That's Niner. Will Kyle be able to make his way up there? You will, but through the smoke, the pick will come through. Now it's a 2v2 situation, and both of Carlton's members are able to pick up Vandals. This is going to be a way closer round than anticipated. You can see Omen start to rotate over, but Killjoy decide to stay on the side. So Saints are going to have A for free if they can get the spike down. Or one more kill for Seth would give him that ultimate. Let's see if the plant will go down. It should go down any second now, and there it is. And it's going to be a 2v2 situation. At this point, I wouldn't blame them if they wanted to save the Vandal. They're going to send the jet in and he oh, goes down. No, I would tragic. save the Vandal at this point. It's a very winnable round, but with how things are going, 
It's not going great for them. There's a Vandal up here though for Niner if he can go and pick that one up, I believe. No, it looks like it dropped down. Unfortunately, nice Ooh. little shot there from Niner onto Seth, but Giza picking up his third kill of the round. Gonna shoot at his teammate's body a little bit to let him know he can't get taken down like that, but when the <laughs> round funny. goes in the favor of the Saints, I don't think they really care. That one goes Caillou. Does have the knives available and more than certainly will be using them this round as the Odin's coming out from dive. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Definitely going to be on that B side if he finds just one Sonic through that uh, wall. You will see the Odin spray that one down. But Saints haven't really pushed to to be too much. But looks like this exactly what they're going for this round. The flashes are going to come out early for Caillou up in that mid. Let's see who decides to play this one. Gets hit by the KO drone. So only has a shorty to work with. Rivgo will go down early. Smiley picks up one as well. Great start for the Saints here. And Caillou's going to pick up a Vandal for his troubles. Let's see if he can get anything done with the Nines. Will dash straight onto the Killjoy. Will be going down. But Giza will pick up nine or 4v2 situations. Nines going to pick up a Couple with that Odin just spraying it down on 30 HP. We'll be able to survive it as well. Saints need to go quickly onto this B side if they want to get something done, but they're going to choose to back out, maybe rotate all the way from mid to A. Yeah, it looks like a rotate is in order here. It's a 2v2 situation. Carlton, a little bit worse for wear on the health side, but they do have the Sova ult if they can manage to use that. But Smiley has his ult after the plant. Oh, you're right. That's going to be very tough to play around if he chooses to invest it here, if he's feeling desperate. And I don't think he will, as now it's a 2v1 situation. Seth feeling very good right now. He's going to get the TP behind, but a little bit too slow. Hard to read from dive. That's a 1v1. Oh, nice, and Smiley. He's ready for it. <laughs> he was watching the cross and gets the kill. 5-0 lead for the Saints. That was another full buy from Carlton, I believe. So, yet again, they won't be able to afford a full buy. They're going to be saving this one up. No timeout coming out from them. So, you know, you only get one ti one timeout for per half. It is 12 rounds and a half. And you definitely don't want to waste that one early. But Saints just snowballing so hard. Maybe you're wondering, Carlton, when is it time to pop that timeout? Definitely don't want to do this round. They are saving it up. But as I say that, Niner and Riv are going to be buying up weapons, so they have to win this round. Otherwise, this snowballing effect of losing round after round and not having full buys is going to come into play. But look how easily St. Clair get onto this A site. It's going to be Caillou up mid, able to find one. Will get taken down by Tina, though. But the plan does go down 40 seconds for Carlton to make their move. The drone from Inkstead will come out. Does get the tag there onto that KO as Smiley's going to make his way up to Heaven here. If he can find that kill onto KO there, we'll have full control of Heaven. Seth will be able to get out of his life as Smiley does go down. Randall's going to find wow. a couple on 5 HP here. And could this be the turnaround for Carlton University? Giza's also on 1 HP as it's going to be very, very hard round to win for the side of the Saints dive. We'll just come and go down to Giza here. Seth's going to be able to find a second. Does go down there as Rayano finding his third kill of the round. Going to be a huge turnaround for Carlton here. There's going to be a thrifty round coming out for them as the defuse will come through just in time. They invested those rifles. It, luckily, it paid off even though it was won by a sheriff. Yeah. They still, you know, maybe needed that little bit of confidence on their team to make it through. Dive buying an Odin once again. Rayano looking very good on money. Probably going to buy for his team. He's comfortable on the sheriff as we just <laughs> saw. And... Now, the Saints are going to have the response instinct also going to invest into an Odin. He does have alt at the ready. They have three alts that they could use potentially in this next round. So I'm sure they want to get their momentum back and to kick Carlton all the way back down the stairs again. If they can do it. There's oh. the Odin. Oh, he got sprayed down through the wall. Yeah, wow. Look at his HP. Yeah, yeah. Very, very low from that initial spray. A little bit of a hard read there. There's the alt coming out oh, inside nice of Carlton. And dive. Oh, the counter so well! <laughs> he gave away his position. He gets taken out. And another oh kill from, from Instinct. And Caillou's getting a kill what as well. What is going on? Down to one on Carlton. That's got to be rough. As soon as you win a round, you might lose a round just as quickly. <laughs> and now Spike's going to be down. Yeah. Not the worst spot, but it's going to be pretty bad. And that's going to be oh, another round to the Saints. That was a very fun round if you're a fan of the Saints. Instinct finding a couple on that new Sova. You know, usually he's on the jet. Probably doesn't play the Sova too much, but finding a couple picks there with the ultimate. Great play to counteract the ultimate of dive, just knowing exactly where he is. As It's going to be four more ultimates for a side of Carlton. Didn't choose to invest them that round. Maybe 
I think they should have because they really need to get rounds on the board and now they don't have another buy. They have one Guardian 4-9er. Rihanna with that Sheriff showing how deadly he is, but... They have ults. They have ults, <laughs> but I don't know if this is the round to use them considering they don't have the weaponry Definitely. to really back up that firepower. Looks like a little bit of a me push coming up from the Saints. We do have Rev nice. following the blades. Oh, he knows where he is. Do it. He oh. finds one. Looking for another. It's Chaos. Oh, he's, he's blind. He dashes right back into the bullets, and three are going to go down from set Saints. Now, there's only one left on the side of Carlton. It's going to be Tina. Tina's just trying to creep through, trying to make it expensive, trying to find anything to benefit the team, but that's not going to be enough at that range. Yeah, there's just a firing squad of three members of the Saints waiting for that peak to come through, and they're able to pick that one up. 7-1 lead, timeout starting for side of Carlton. Finally, we're going to see them use it. I think now is one of the better times to use it. They're going to have a full buy, and if they lose this round, it's as good as over. St. Clair just running away with this one, playing with so much momentum and looking so, so good in the second map. Yeah, they're looking better than ever in the second map here, winning, I think, 5 nothing. it was I mean, at, at uh, that point. But they won the pistol. They did win the pistol. That's what happens That's when what they happens. win the pistol. If yeah. you don't win pistol <laughs> against the Saints, it's going to be over. a rough time for you. But it's not over till it's over. They are using the timeout. They do yep. have one round, and I think this is the round that they can buy some rifles. So this is what I like to see. A lot of teams, they take the timeout when their back's up against the wall. All they have is, like, a couple pistols. You can't really fully strategize here. But right now they have loaded alts. They have three alts to be able to be used. And they also have the weapons so to back them up. So I like this uh, timeout. Yeah, I think it's this is probably the one of the better opportunities they'll have to take a timeout this half. Uh, you know, if they were able to take one earlier and slow down the bleeding of the Saints, probably would have been a little bit better. But now it's better late than never. They do have one and a half and want to use it. Because this, as you said, Valorant is a game you need to get to 13. It's not one before you have 13. <laughs> and no matter what, the comeback could always happen. Let's see if Carlton are up to play here. And if they can bring this one back, Dive is going to swing out wide here. We'll throw out that dart and has the Odin. If Giza gets pinged once, he might go down. Let's see if the spray come out there. We'll be able to find this. Caillou, how is he onto the site already? He's in the spawn of Carlton, just running through there. Giza's going to pick up one. It's going to be just Killjoy on the bomb site. Can they pick up that Killjoy? It is Niner, strongest member. It's going to be able to pick up one, but the trade will come out from Smiley as Caillou picks down Rihanna. Now it's a 4v2 situation for the Saints. They should be able to get the spike down. Smiley and Caillou overwatching that mid as Smiley's going to choose to decide to get the plant down. They're still not sure if there's someone here from the side of Carlton. The shorty will let them know that nobody's there. Dive. Let's try to walk through here, but Giza in such a prime position as there is a jet on the flank for side of Carlton. Uh, Saints are definitely not paying attention to that. Rib's going to be able to pick up one, but Dive, as soon as he walks through here, should be going down. Another night for Giza, his third <laughs> of, the, <laughs> of the series. He just loves getting those knife kills, and oh Smiley boy. cleans up the round there. St. Clair College blasts through after that timeout and take an 8-1 lead. This one could be looking to end pretty soon. Yeah, they have, what, uh, three more rounds? Potentially two more rounds? Yeah, three more rounds max if they want to take it to 11-1. to one. But uh, overall, the Saints just having the match of all matches right now. Carlton Ravens really put up a fight in the first game, but right now they're just struggling to find any footing here. Of course, they didn't get the one round, but they're just being maybe a little bit too hesitant on the alts. They could really turn some games around here. Yeah, it's going to be... Push coming out from the Saints. Very, very quick one at that Giza. And Kai definitely leading the charge. As Kai is going to be walking up mid, will be able to pick up one there. And is there going to be a look to full throttle push here? Seth's going to pick up one, will go down. Kai's going to find a second, find a third. Can he flick on to the fourth? No, Dive finding so many pigs. And all of a sudden, it's a 1v2 situation. Playing so aggressively here, the Saints are. The spike does go down. Smiley giving it the shash in Giza. Oh my god. Giza, you're kidding me. Fourth knife kill of <laughs> the match. Just having a great performance <laughs> and just knows how to get to the right place at the right time. You know, Killjoy is not an agent that you're like oh you know this this agent should be on the flank a lot gave it to get those backstabs but giza definitely making it work picking up his 10th kill of the map as saints take a very dominant 9-1 lead and carlton are yet again looking like a bit of a chalk pie for them yeah it's not looking great they're just scrapping together whatever they can at this point and i just want them to use these ults at this point they've been sitting on them for like five rounds there is the knives from caillou 
Is he gonna get, or no, that's the nice from Alton. And now that's gonna be down. Kai's gonna just flood on through, take one down, looking for another. with the knife! <laughs> He's trying for the knife, gets a few. The Saints are just oh, rolling at this point. It's a 1v2. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a crazy map. He's gonna teleport over to B. 20 HP. This could go to Carlton. If the Saints lose this one, it's looking to be 9-3, and that might be the 9-3 curse that Carlton needs. It could be. It was 9-3 last map, but, you know, we saw Instinct there. Maybe, you know, uh, adjusting to the Sova playstyle a little bit. I don't know if uh, rushing in with the knife is on the box there, but, you know, Giza's definitely been practicing uh, the team and prepping them for those knife kills. A great try there from them, but a great defense from Carlton, to say the least. They were able to be at the right place at the right time, and even with the weapon disadvantages, Die find a couple huge picks there with the Ares, and now it's going to be a 9-2 game. Carlton can pick up this third round. I mean, the game is not over till it's over. We said it many times, and if Carlton can pick up this last round to really make it as close of a game as possible, could maybe find some amazing adjustments on the attack and bring this game back. Exactly. It's not looking completely hopeless yet. 11-1 is pretty hopeless because yep. if you lose pistol you're you're kind of chalked at that point <laughs> but you know 9-3 if you can just play as well as the opponent did on attack you can turn this into a win or maybe even bring this into OT here now we're gonna see a lot of alts on the side of Carlton last round to use it you might as well <laughs> see him how you're gonna craft the arrows here how you're gonna go in loud and proud finds one looking for a second doesn't find it but his teammate doesn't either and that's dive gonna be three. dive getting two and that's gonna be sh Seth shutting him down oh, oh my goodness wow Seth. look at Seth going off right now it's a 2v1 oh, situation no. but one of them is very very low goes to the right click and he finds it secure the last round and the half for the Saints 10 to 2 and as we said, that was a crucial round there. Saints able to take that one, even with a great round coming out there from Dive. Was able to find three pickups from that position, but just the rest of the team was not able to help him out enough. Great team play there from the Saints. They're going to be taking the first half 10-2. And as we said, pistol rounds is what it comes down to. If Saints can take this one, it's as perhaps as it gets. But if Carlton, which they have won already, two pistol rounds are up to one so far in the series on the pistol rounds, could take this one and look to snowball their way back into this game. Exactly, if they can just do what the Saints did to them, it's going to be tough, especially when you don't have a Caillou on your team. But Dive is really stepping up to the plate. It seems like Sova has the magic yeah, sauce. Yeah, Sova. So uh, we'll see. Maybe the Sova will be able to cook here. Anyways, Smiley prepping the flash. Flash over the wall uh -oh. here. Caillou dives uh -oh. in, doesn't check the corner. What? Two go down. That's going to be maybe three. No, they get two right back. So it's even. That was a little bit of a disaster play. Make that 2v3 as Dive finds a pick. And this is going to be a hard round for the Saints to win. One HP there on Smiley, I believe, on that KO. As it's going to be Giza. Going to have to do a lot here. I don't know how they didn't manage to call out that Killjoy in that corner. She was able to pick up a couple frags there for the side of Carlton. And the pistol rounds for the Saints are just, are just not it. It's something they just cannot get down perfectly. As it's going to be Carlton walking their way up mid. Both Saints member on the A site. If they just walk into B side, Carlton here will have a free plant. But let's see how they decide to play this one. The flank could be massive from the KO. But they should be able to make their way onto this B side relatively easy. And the plant will go down sometime soon. You can see both members of the Saints rotating over Smiley. Is in a pretty dangerous flank position. I don't know if Carlton are going to be expecting that one. As the plant hasn't gone down yet. Let's see how Giza is going to play this one. Will get tagged up there. Will get droned out as well. So has to be careful. The wall bangs will come through and Giza does go down. It's going to be off to Smiley. He's going to be on 10 HP. Will he get wall banged as well? The swings will come through and Carlton able to get the third pistol round win of the series and their third round of the map as they're down 10-3 now will have the weapons advantage but they have to be careful they were in the spot once already where they won the pistol round and then lost the upcoming round you see they're not taking that risk this time buying all five vandals playing for the long game and i think that is a perfect call coming out from carlton exactly carlton is in a really good spot right now if they just play their cards right they're going to take this round and maybe even take it a little bit further. I think the next round is really gonna decide how the rest of this match will go. So if the Saints win this third round, it'll be disastrous. If they win this round, it'll be extra disastrous because they invested so much into this round.
We'll see if the Saints are good, able to muster anything out of this. Caillou taking the long range fights with the Sheriff. Griff gonna dash in and find the pick on Caillou. That's their biggest player taken out. Now that's gonna free up A for a massive push for Carlton. Yeah, this should be a pretty clear round for Carlton Saints. Have a, a lot of classics. It's gonna be Smiley looking to find one. Won't pick up anything there, and this should be the round going over to Carlton if they can just make their way on this A <laughs> side. You can see Giza don't do it. Instead of <laughs> saying, guys, this, this is not where you want to go. You don't want to be near me. As Dive's gonna pick up one. Will they be able to pick up the jet there? No, Rib will be able to pick it up. Seth can't find a pick as well, and this might be a flawless round coming up from Carlton. You'd really love to see the Saints do some damage control here and find a couple kicks, kills, get those vandals out of the hand of Carlton, but they won't even be able to find one. A flawless round from Carlton as they look to make their way back into this game. They're looking for the reverse sweep right now. Maybe even take it all the way to 10-10 to 10 at this point. As the Saints, they're kind of not <laughs> having anything go their way right now. And Sink going to have to buy a uh, Sheriff there. They do have four Vandals, four Rifles on the side of the Saints. So maybe they'll do something here. But if they just manipulate the Saints' aggressiveness at this point, they'll be able to like, take a couple more rounds here. So we see Riv push into the mid. Kaelin goes out, doesn't find anybody. Let's bring it down, clearing that mid very, very well. Instant gonna take out the turret. Take out, check that corner for sure after what happened on <laughs> pistol. Don't want that to happen again. Guy, you prepping the dash, gonna make his move. Finds one. Only a sheriff for instinct. Yeah, there is only a sheriff. Yo, that's a very dangerous peek. I don't think he knows all he has is a sheriff. Because he could definitely win that gunfight there. Dive. Slow and methodical, watching the mid point. He's gonna rotate over to A with the rest of his team. And you see this again, Saints, you know, not playing uh, too aggressively anymore. And Carlton are just waiting for Saints to make a mistake, but even up 10 4, Saints having a bit more patience this map than they did in the last. And with 50 seconds left, it's gonna be on Carlton to make a push, and they're gonna be making their way up on that A side by Saints. Playing so, so slow. We'll have a couple members there to defend. Caillou's gonna play a bit aggressively though. We'll spot on one, we'll pick it up. Can he pick up the second around the corner? The peaks will come through. Oh my goodness, great shots there from Caillou. The rest of the team is on, uh, of Carlton is on that A side. So you're gonna see the Saints move over here very, very quickly. Seth will be able to survive. Smiley will pick up Dive as the shots will come out. Rayano is gonna be able to pick up one, but in two before situation, getting so, so desperate. Let's see how the push comes through here. Rayano is gonna push through, find a couple, but Giza getting a couple right back as Saints are gonna take an 11 4 lead. And Put themselves in a prime position to take the second map and take the series. Yeah, Rayana was looking to switch things up there, start to get the ball rolling, but now oh the Saints have boy. a ball rolling of their it's own. And timeout. It's going to be Carlton are taking this timeout because I think they are full buying, and you can see the score 11 4. If they lose this full buy, they will be completely broke on the next round, and that that is That's all she wrote. So Carlton definitely going to be turning the gears in their brain to their max speed, trying to figure out a tactic here that Saints won't see coming, but the way things are going, St. Clair have just been playing so, so well, and I think they have Carlton fully figured out. Yeah, it's, they're really getting their foot in the door once again. You know, Carlton did start off with a good pistol round, what a few rounds in a row there, put themselves in a decent spot, but they don't have any rounds left to lose if Saints start getting on that win streak once again. It's not, that's it. <laughs> like, that's it's, it. it's 10, or it's 11 now, it's 11 is it not? Four, yeah, yeah, it's 11 4. It's, uh, it's not looking good for them. And uh, this is the time you need a timeout. This is it. When your back's up against the wall, barely have any le <laughs> rounds left to lose, you invested everything you got. This is when you have to take these times out, timeouts and really reflect on what you can do, what alts you have on the board, what are you even close to. Maybe you should prioritize some of your teammates getting kills over others, like Rihanna. It's one kill away from the that, that KO ult, oh, which could be key to, to taking a few more rounds here. As we see Dive prepping the drone just to clear out that mid. They really love getting mid control here on the set. Oh. Instinct almost finding an early pick. Oh my god! Not picking out that turret. Running and shooting. Luck is not on his side today. Riv getting taken out by Geezer. That's going to be a massive pick for them. And now it's a 4v5 situation for Carl to oh take that 3. V5 as Rayano is caught off guard with mid. Dive finding one right back. 4v3. It's not looking okay, but not going to be Nerd. good enough as Giza finds one. Go now, for the ace, Giza. Oh. Giza going to go down. Ooh. And nine are going to go two. down. 2v2. 
2v2. Very, very interesting 4v2 situation, but Saints just get picked off left and right. Giza getting a bit too aggressive there, looking for the ace, but I like it. I was calling for it. Seth gonna look to find some shots there, and Saints do have the health advantage that Omen on the side of Carlton is a bit lower on the HP bars. Caillou gonna look for the shots here, is still alive on that jet, and the push will be coming through here. Let's see how the Saints side to play this one. Seth, how did he get here? Will be able to find one in the last around this corner. Tina though will be able to pick it up 1v1 now. Tina against Caillou. Oh my goodness, wow. what a shot there from Tina. Able to pick it up onto Caillou there. And a very, very important clutch because if they lost that one, it would be all she wrote. But it's going to allow Carlton one more opportunity to get themselves back into this. They do have the the Vandal full buys and you know I want to see Saints pick up an outlaw here you could see a lot of light shields on Definitely. the side of Carlton if Saints did a bit of math they would be like oh these guys can't afford much but you could see at the Saints they don't have any money I don't think they can afford one <laughs> so they won't be able to buy up too much Inkstead and Giza gonna buy those weapons Kyle's gonna buy up that Sheriff but look how close to the ultimates everybody's getting some crucial picks here could lead to some crucial ultimates and I just want to mention the Saints don't really have a sniper on the side, so that's why we're not seeing the outlaw. Caillou taking out the turret. Now, Riff getting one right back. Smiley finding a pick. 4v4. Turret gets taken out and flashed. Smiley moving into the it's corner. Gonna be on Smiley here. Sneaky. He's gonna get knifed. That's a KO ult from the side of Carlton. He's very, very low. They can take him down. They can force a revive. Seth pushing in. Smiley found two, though. He finds two. 1v1. It's a 1v1 one one situation here. He's looking for the revive, trying to get any info he can. 70 HP. If he's full here, Smiley may be able to win this one. He oh finds the kill. My. That's going to be a clutch. Doesn't even have to use ult. And now Carlton, they're up against the rope. <laughs> St. Clair is looking to deliver the finishing blow this final round. Do they have it in them to do it? Or does Carlton have the ults to maybe force this one to go an additional round longer? That was a great, great shot there from Smiley. Using that Killjoy ult, uh, turret to get vision onto the enemy and just having perfect aim to find the Chris headshot. Fourth kill of the round. Saints only bought a couple of rifles that round, Smiley being one of them, and was able to pick up four kills. You can see that's why teams buy a couple rifles here and there. We're going to see the knives coming out very, very early. Caillou just diving in there. Smiley's going to be able to pick up Riv as it's a trade coming out there. Flash will come out there. The swing will come through. Instinct will be going down as well as Carlton and Rockstar, a good star here in this round. Rayano's going to pick up one in mid as well, and Saints maybe being a bit too aggressive here. Let's see how they decide to play this one. How did Seb end up in the spawn of Carlton? I think that was his ultimate. Gears He's on the flank in the spawn as well. We're able to pick up one, but look at the side of Carlton. They're not looking back. They're only running forward. We'll be getting onto this A site. The plant will go down, and they're looking very, very good to pick up this next round. Yeah, 3v2. They're looking very, very good. They do have to contend with Killjoy ult, but they have one to answer, and they also have Silva ult. They want to go for the destructive round. tactics. There it is. There's a Killjoy from Carlton. Saints are now going to be forced to wait for time. Oh, what a shot. one. Not gonna find the other. He's gonna wait the two oh, seconds for the pop. It's gonna be very, very close round. Kill drill defensively. Yeah, they're gonna try maybe use a kill drill. I think they're just gonna go for straight picks. And no. now, oh, you're right. Good read there. Now he's gonna oh find one, finds two, goodness. and that's gonna be the series for the Saints. Giza finding the two pick out of nowhere. And that's gonna be his fourth kill of the round. Two back-to-back -back 4Ks for the Saints as they're gonna be able to take the victory over Carleton University. 13 7? 5. 13 5. 13 yes. 7, 13 5. Oh, so, the first round yeah, first 13 map. 7, yes. So yeah, two pretty dominant showings here from St. Clair College. As expected, one of the strongest teams in collegiate Valorant, by far the strongest team in Canada, able to take down Carleton. A great performance in the second map from both teams, but Saints were just that little bit stronger, had the upper edge, and are able to move on to the next round. Yeah, they're going to just keep on moving on, and they're doing an amazing job at just adapting, right? Because Carlton was it was very good at reading what the Saints were doing and, and answering, and those were the rounds that they were winning, right? But uh, the Saints were just a little bit too fast to adapt. Like, they're always aggressive, but they're aggressive in different ways. Like, they'd attack from different angles each time, attack with different weapons, different tactics, you know, pop flashes sometimes, smoke sometimes. It was just really hard to get a read on what the Saints were going to do, and that unpredictability is what really won them these rounds. Without that, and some great uh, individual performances, how many 4Ks did we see exactly. today? And so, knives. And 
<laughs> nice, like a nice from Giza, yeah, at least four nice yeah. from Giza. Uh, 4Ks, Caillou just having an insane performance on game one. If anyone missed, he hit 28 kills on Sova. That's why you saw him on that jet, usually playing that Sova role and Sky, but so, so confident after game one, had to pick up that jet and definitely started off hot for Saints there in game two. And they were just able to play off that momentum. And they're going to be very, very happy with their performance today. Didn't make too many mistakes. The only mistakes was maybe a little bit too aggressive, uh, losing pistols, but that they're used to that. But just playing a bit too aggressive at times maybe was the only thing they could fix up. Other than that, they're looking very, very strong. Yeah, they looked amazing all throughout the entire game there. It was just a joy to see. They did kind of get a little bit silly, a little bit over-aggressive, which I wouldn't like to see further on as we get yeah. further into the playoffs. But they did an amazing job, and now it's just a question of who they're going to go up against next in the the, the series, I think Mizzo was one of the ones in the in the next seed, I, I believe, in the next yeah. like parallel tournament there. So we'll see who they go up against. I'm sure that round might still be going on as these <laughs> were some pretty quick games. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, it was an amazing day. Let's let's wrap, let's wrap it up here. Thank you to everybody in the back, Daniil, Ari, and Amanda holding down everything, making sure this whole thing works. And thank you, Theo, for joining me here on the desk. And let's. Thank our sponsors as well. We have HyperX, Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. And join us tomorrow for the more. Social media. Oh, yeah, the social media. Thank you very much for catching that. <laughs> Follow our social media as we post every, on everything daily. We daily. Have like, there we go. There we go. There we we have Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or X, <laughs> Instagram, yeah. and TikTok. We have those all the time. Stay Update on every single game, anything that's happening, Saints gaming related tournaments, you know, the whole shebang events. Everything. It's going to be great. Just, you want to be looking. <laughs> you want to be looking. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyways, thank you very much for joining us, guys. We're going to have another Valorant game tomorrow at 4 p.m. Join us there for more Saints gaming action. Good night. <laughs>